Okay guys, welcome back to Swing Trading Wrap Up for the 12th of June, 2020. I'm gonna keep these short because I think you guys like these shortened videos, but uh, just note if you're new here what this particular trading style is because I know I have a few trading styles throughout the website such as live day trading. I've got a lot of live swing trading, uh, educational material, but this particular series is every week I grab the trade ideas back tester and its ability to back test scenarios. I try to find a handful that are working for this market. I have trade ideas auto trade them for me completely hands off throughout the week. I close them manually every Friday and then we scan for two new stocks and or four new stocks and we rinse and repeat and then track the performance, tell you guys how it went and what I am looking at for next week. Again, don't just blindly follow me, but that's the procedure that I use, not financial advisor and all of that. Um, so this week, pretty much one day is the tale of this week. We did pretty much nothing Mon Monday, Wednesday, or Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday we had this massive gap down and run down that scared everybody. And then Friday, an inside day with a little bit more volatility than usual. I will just point out a lot of people are saying the sky is falling. Note that this is just a pullback in an uptrend until proven otherwise. And this is why they say in bear markets, no one gets out alive, right? Big, strong push up, big, strong push down. And just everything happens in a more dramatic fashion. And that can certainly cause trouble for a lot of people. This week was a good week for us. Uh, let's first go into spreadsheet here. Again, this is just tracking. We're about 20 weeks in, so about half the year. And this is what would happen if you traded one, two, three, four, five hundred shares uh, of this particular strategy. So it was about 10 points or so we made this week. Uh, Bill was great today. It triggered on Wednesday, chopped around, but we had this big strong push up. That's what we were looking for. I am still holding some of this in another account, but this particular strategy says close on Friday. So that's what I'm doing. AZN, get that to load. Oh, there we go. AZN, we actually missed the initial trade as a gap down, but then it gap back up on Wednesday and got us in and before selling off, which is great. CTLT, we were looking at this kind of rounded top. We shorted in through here, chopped sideways for a few days and gap down. And PGNY, we were looking for it. It had held this gap. We were looking for it to coil back up, triggered us in by a couple ticks and then fell. So can't win them all. That's way more accurate than I normally am. So I'm not gonna complain. And all in all, a good week. So for next week, we're watching BJ. Essentially the same thing as this PGNY we were looking at the other week where it had this kind of really strong move up and then pulled back, exhibiting relative strength to the market, a whole bunch of indecision in this area. If you look, all of these candles here are just denoting that the market has no idea what to do. So I think if we break up higher, uh, we could see some people who are short in through here kind of taking profits. Cats. Cats broke out of this declining wedge here earlier in the week, and then it just pulled back down into it. So I think if it finds some support here and continues higher because this area was resistance here, and then twice here, and then support once here, once here, and once here. So this particular area seems very important. So if we continue to lift off this with a 44% short float, I think things could get going. TW, kind of a rounded top here on TW as well. You could call this a head and shoulders, but we've broken trend. This trend line that was up here, we've broken down, come back to retest it, and it looks like we're coiling down lower. And last but not least, GoDaddy, same type of thing. This one's happening at an important area here. You can see this was the very top after this earnings gap. It just fell apart completely. And now we're back up there. It poked a little bit above it and failed, which I actually like better than things stopping directly at resistance. And again, we've broken trend. And now it looks like we could continue lower as long as this gap uh, remains intact. So that is it for this week. Uh, let's quickly go over Bitcoin because I just took a position in there. I have highlighted here. 
uh, essentially shorted as we broke down out of this uh, ascending triangle lower. This all happened super, super quickly. I had a standing stop limit order, so I got filled a little bit lower than I'd like, but again, this was an insanely fast move off of 10,000. Stop will be over 10,000 target to see if we can kind of get into the sixes or sevens around through here Which gives us a four risk reward and if anyone knows for following me from any length of time I don't claim to be super accurate, but what I do well is I adhere to very tight stops so that I weight my risk reward so that my less than ideal um, win rate ends up over the long run not mattering at all. And it, this is where I'm gonna focus on tighter and tighter stops and longer and longer profit targets. Cause again, I think that's where uh, the real edge is. Not many people that I've ever met, and I've met a lot of traders have insanely high win rates unless they're scamming people in some way. Uh, but the ones that I, I have followed are the ones that are very, very disciplined when it comes to risk management and that makes a difference for them. So it makes a difference for me as well. So that is it for this week. Again, there'll be more uh, live trading on the channel next week. There'll be more um, back to basics where I'm teaching my fiance Jess how to trade on there, which is a great series for new traders. Um, so yeah, that certainly come check those out. And links are in the description for my email address for mentoring. I do I do one on one uh, trader mentoring as well as trade ideas. If you're interested, there's a discount link that they will uh, pay some commission back to me. And that is one of the reasons I make this video. So if you're interested in giving it a try, uh, please do so with the link below. And I will talk to you guys later.